Hello, how are you? Thank you all. Now, I leave you, leave you with you. Bueno, buenas noches. Y nada, estoy muy feliz con el trabajo que hice ante Tim Bradley. Y, y realmente estoy muy contento de Tim. Well, I'm very happy because I am very happy with the way I did. And also I'm very happy the way uh, Bradley fought. It was a great fight. I'm feeling very good for the result and for the way I fought. Agradecido a la gente de HBO, a Top Rank, a toda la gente que me apoyó acá de Argentina y acá la gente que me apoyó la raza mexicana y la gente americana acá en Estados Unidos. Well, I have to say thank you to HBO, thank you to Top Rank and all his staff. Also to the Mexicans and the American people that uh, run for me and during the fight. Uh, thank you, thank you very much to everybody. Questions, please? Questions? Yeah, go ahead. Hi, hi Diego. Uh, did you feel when the fight was over that you had won the fight? You swept the final four rounds on two judges' scorecards. Did you think your work in the second half of the fight was what got you the, uh, the draw? Pensás que había ganado la pelea ya que en los últimos cuatro años lo ganaste en dos jurados y te preguntas si pensaste que había ganado la pelea. Sí, había sido una pareja, una pelea pareja, pero creemos que, que a partir de, del cuarto o quinto round empezamos a manejar nosotros los tiempos y creemos que habíamos ganado. Fue muy, very muy close, muy even, pero from the fifth round and up, yeah, we started. Uh, Working the times of the fight, the way to fight, and I think we won the fight. How are you doing, Diego? Um, you know, I was just wondering, well, first of all, congratulations. You showed a lot of heart tonight coming back after, you know, the last fight here. And uh, congratulations. Um, the decision was dubious, but, you know, you feel you won, you won. I just want to know, you know, the, the purse was over $2 million. Why did you accept 35000 on that. Was there anything promised to you at all? Me siento muy feliz de que Tim me haya aceptado la pelea conmigo y me haya dado una oportunidad. Y tema dinero no no hablo. I think uh, I'm very happy because uh, Team gave me the opportunity because the team was a champion before. And uh, actually, about money, I don't want to discuss those things. Okay, thanks a lot. Great job. Uh, Diego, over here to your right. Uh, throughout the fight, you were, uh, it was a very engaging fight. Uh, most of the time, you were in the phone booth with this guy. And according to the punch stats results, Bradley, threw 572 and 225 connected, and you threw 570 and 152 connected. Uh, but yet, the judges scored it the way that they scored it. And it, it, it was a close fight, but I mean, come on. Do you really think that you won that fight? Uh, like I said before, the fight was very even, was a very close fight, but I think uh, after the fourth round, I, I fought the fight, and uh, Bradley didn't answer for me. I, I, I think I really overworked him from the fourth round up. Francisco Salazar. Uh, Diego, uh, buena pelea. Este, dos preguntas. Se vio que estaba hinchando bastante la. Estaba, estaba hinchando la, su ojo, Bradley. Uh, ¿Era alguna táctica que tratabas de tratar de, uh, de pegarle más ahí, como estaba hinchado por su ojo? All I asked was. The gentleman got two questions. This is the first one. He said, 
uh, rattling at his eyes, start getting swelling, and uh, he asking if uh, Diego start pointing to, to that uh, eye where he was getting inflamed. Bueno, empezamos a trabajar porque veíamos que, que nuestros golpes le estaban haciendo daño sobre un ojo izquierdo y creo que, que bueno, esa era la clave y seguir trabajando. No, 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 no nos interesaba trabajar sobre ese ojo, teníamos que trabajar en general. Bueno, well, we saw the eye getting inflamed, my, my coroner told me to start working in there, but actually we start working in every aspect of the fight because we, you know, you cannot win the fight because only he did one, one eye. Y luego te, también te estaba hinchado su ojo izquierdo. Uh, también te molestaba eso, podías ver por uh, no podías ver, no tenías problemas ver por la pelea. Usted le está preguntando a él que si se le hinchó el ojo a él. No, digo, no, nomás te, estaba hinchado su ojo izquierdo, ahorita. A uh, uh, Diego, podías ver, tenías problemas ver uh, a Brian en frente de ti. Y no, no me causaba ningún problema. Pude ver bien la, la pelea, podía pelear tranquilo porque no me molestaba para nada. Esto se causó un cabezazo a lo último, pero no molestó para nada. No, fue un headbutt en la última parte del fight y eso no me afecta a nada. I have a two-part question. Uh, one, it was a great hard-hitting fight. I think all the fans enjoyed it. Uh, question number one, right here. Um, it seemed in the middle rounds that you started to get a little slower. Was conditioning ever a factor in the fight? And the second part is after. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, para nada, sino que estaba cambiando de aire porque eh, era una pelea dura y complicada, tenía que cambiar el aire. Uh, usually, I don't know if you know about the, the thing called change the air and during the fight, and this will happen to me in the first round, so it's not. And it's just a matter of the, that, no, there was no because I was not in condition. The second part? The second part of the question is, Bradley said he was hurt by a couple of right hands that you threw. Um, did Bradley ever hurt you during the fight? No, I think the difference marked in the record of each one, I think that marked the difference in my puño. No, I think basically on the record of both of us, uh, that makes the difference on, on both of us. My right hand is powerful than him. Diego, over here. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people in boxing, including myself, expected to, uh, Tim Bradley to come out and box. Were you surprised that he decided to sit there and exchange with you? Uh, can you repeat the question? Yes. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people in boxing expected, like I said, including myself, uh, Tim Bradley to come out and box, like he's shown in the past. Were you surprised that he sat and exchanged with you like he did? Dije que en general verdad le, le gusta boxear más que pelear. Y te sorprendió vos que vino a pelear con vos. Sí, nos sorprendió muchísimo. Pensábamos que iba a ser una pelea bastante que iba a correr, pero creo que fue un, un gran peleador y creo que por algo es uno de los tres mejores libros de Bolívar. Uh, no, we really we get surprised with all the gonna come and run and move around. But he came to fight, and that's why I admire him as a great fighter. And this is why he is one of the first three fighters to run late in the war. Anybody else? Over here, Jim. Uh, how would you rate yourself and your, your performance tonight? Uh, of all the fights that you've had, how would you categorize this fight? I'd say that again. How what? And what kind of grade would you give us? Oh, okay. This is how much you can think of this fight during all the other fights. What point would you give from 1 to 10? I would give a 10. Because I think that having a great fight like I had before one of the best boxers in the world, I feel 
de la mejor manera y creo que me pongo en un 10. Uh, I think uh, for the best fight ever, and if uh, we qualify from 1 to 10, I'll give myself a 10. Because not only I fought great, but I fought to the, one of the best fighters, like I said before, is between the first three, three fighters in the world. I just wanted to ask you, you had the crazy fight with Rios and all the stuff happened after that fight and you weren't happy, and now you had this fight where you felt you won the fight and you didn't get the victory. Would you ever come back and fight here again, or do you feel like you've had your fill of Las Vegas? Dice que tuviste una pelea muy ruda, dura con Rios, y ahora tuviste otra pelea dura en Estados Unidos, y tú piensas que ganaste y no te la dieron. ¿Volverías a venir a pelear en Estados Unidos? Creo que estar acá peleando con Tim Bradley creo que es algo importantísimo para mí. Creo que tengo, tengo mucho para mucho más para dar y creo que por algo estoy peleando con Tim Bradley. Yes, I went back over here because I think uh, I give a great fight with him. And uh, again, if uh, Tim Bradley is one of the best fighters, I got a lot of lot of things more to do in America. In the future, would he come back to this, this city in the future given what happened to those two? Dice aquí en esta ciudad, Andrés. En cualquier lado, no tengo problema. Any place. Diego, dos preguntas. Este, desde, el, desde el principio saliste agresivo. Este, el plan era cacharlo de, so, de sorpresa y frío. Sí, sabíamos que teníamos que llevarlo por delante porque él no es un boxeador de, de puños picantes. Creo que, que la idea nuestra era llevarlo, no dejarlo crecer, y creo que, que fue lo que logramos hacer. Yes, I, this is our tactic because we know that he's a, a fighter, he's a boxer more than a fighter, and he's not a very his punches are not that hard, and the idea was just to take the time from, from him, take the initiative from him, and this is what we did. La segunda pregunta, eh, con el resultado, ¿buscas, quisieras la revancha, o, o quisieras uh, continuar con tu carrera? Would you like to rematch, or would you just continue okay. on what you're doing? Oh, she said that. <laughs> <laughs> Creo que, que estoy para pelear con cualquiera. Creo que hoy lo demostré arriba del ring y no tengo problemas de, de pelear revanchas. Que me gustaría volver a pelear con, con Ríos, con Brandon, con Tim Bradley y con Keith Turman. No tengo problemas. Uh, I don't have no problem to fight a rematch with Brandon Rios, with, with uh, Timothy Bradley, and con, with Turma, with anybody. Um, I was going to ask you about the rematch, but I was just going to ask you, are there any other fighters you like to fight? Do you feel like you've proven enough to maybe get a shot at a title, or at least an eliminator? o inclusive pelear por el título. Estoy para pelear con cualquiera, no tengo ningún tipo de problema. Eh, quiero estar y entrar acá en, en Estados Unidos, que es lo que más me importa. Besides the names that I already said, I fight with anybody. <laughs>